So it's great to be here today to unveil the Stadler trains that will run on the O Train South Line. Stage two LRT is a 4.66 billion, would it be, project that is jointly funded by the Government of Canada and the Province of Ontario, along with the City of Ottawa. On behalf of all of us, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Ottawa's new Statler Flirt train. And at this point, I think we're going to ring a bell and you're going to see the train come through. Well, welcome, welcome to uh, our new fleet here in, on the Trillium Line. Today we celebrate the arrival of the new Statler Flirt fleet, an important milestone in the Stage 2 project. And all seven Statler Flirt trains are now here in Ottawa. These trains are built in Switzerland before being shipped to Ottawa in sections. Once they get here, they're reassembled and begin extensive testing and preparation to one day welcome customers. In speaking with the talented and professional engineers that are part of the technical team, they've shared that the trains are performing extremely well. They've been able to identify improvements and have applied them to each vehicle as they're delivered, and hearing the excitement from the professionals who are testing these new vehicles is quite encouraging. These Statler Flirt trains are used in 21 countries around the world and now here in Ottawa. As the train entered the building a few moments ago, it's easy to imagine how these trains and extended O-Train South will transform the way we move around our city. And as you can see, the new Walkley MSF uh, facility, which we're in right now, is also very well advanced. I remember being here, Stephanie, not too long ago where it was all opened and lots of work to be done, but it's come along really, really nicely. And it's a critical component that will allow the system to provide safe travel for residents in Ottawa's fast-growing southern communities. The Stage 2 South Extension will serve residents in Riverside South thanks to Leitrim, Bowesville and Limebank uh, uh, stations as well as a spur line that will get residents and visitors to the EY Centre and directly inside the terminal at the Ottawa Airport. I want to finally thank our federal and provincial partners for their contribution and the collaboration on this great project, one that will transform Ottawa forever and make it a more sustainable and greener city for generations to come. This is an 80 meter Stadler flirt vehicle and so it's a diesel electric so it has electric traction motors that means that the vehicle can be upgraded at a later date to run on a catenary which is a really great feature. The other thing if you look down the length of the vehicle you'll see that the number of doors has, has really been increased so one of the customizations that we did with this vehicle is make sure we have lots of doors and particularly two doors that provide access to the accessibility area of the train. So that if we ever lose a door, we don't have to take the train out of service. On some of our other trains, we lose a door, we lose access to the accessibility area, we have to take it out um, just because we can't, uh, can't run it in service that way. So uh, 80 meters, 420 people, uh, lots of big uh, passenger areas for strollers, bikes, wheelchairs, you name it. Uh, big spacious cab, the operators have said it's really great. Uh, they have their own dedicated HVAC unit for the cab, so that's a fantastic feature. And yeah, we're just really excited to get it on the line and test it out. So here we are, we're at uh, the new uh, yard on Albion Road for the maintenance of these new trains on O-Train Line 2. Uh, this is the new Stadler Flirt. It's an 80 meter long train made up of four units with uh, diesel, diesel engines in the middle, driving traction motors which are right here under the, the end, uh, the cab end, both cab ends of the train. Uh, it can hold about 420 people at a you know, normal level of crowding which allows us to, uh, with the same 12 minute frequency on line two, allows us to almost double the capacity from what we had before the line was shut down for, for reconstruction. Obviously when O-Train line two opens, we've got the two new stations at Corso Italia and Walkley, plus the extension south to Limebank, and the, uh, uh, the, the Lint trains, the Alstom Lints, will be moving over to line four, the service between South Keys and the airport. You'll also get to see um, that we've got seven of these, but normally six will be in service each day with one train on line two, being made up of a two-car train of lints, uh, which is about the same capacity and about the same length, just slightly longer than this. Um, and we're really looking forward to uh, getting this um, improved line two back in service uh, next year. Uh, you know, the train was fully assembled at the, the facility, the Stadler's facility in Switzerland. Then they, you know, took it apart and they 
trucked it through these small little Swiss towns to get it to the river, uh, put it on a barge on the river, and from there took it, uh, the, they barged it to Antwerp. Uh, in Antwerp, it got loaded onto a freighter to get over to the port of New Jersey, and then from there it got trucked up to Ottawa. Obviously, Ottawa, they take it off, and put it back together, and then we've been running it on our test tracks uh, between Hunt Club and Leitrim Road. So there is a there is a test track uh, that's been built that runs starts just south of Hunt Club Road and it goes to just north of Leitrim Road. So it's roughly a four and a half kilometer section of track. They're able to get up to uh, I think 100 kilometers an hour on that section of track. They've been able to do all the dynamic testing through that area. So that allows us to bring the trains here, get the testing started, get the testing underway, make good progress. Uh, all the trains are here now. They're stored in the yard outside uh, at this facility. Um, some of them are, are likely left uh, on the line overnight because some of the testing is actually taking place between uh, in the evening shift, 5 and midnight. Um, and it is a bit of an isolated area, so it's tough to see the train, but occasionally you can see uh, one of the trains over Leicester Road. I think it's probably the easiest place to see one. I, I, I really, I mean, the, the number of doors, the accessibility, uh, the look and feel, it's just uh, everyone who rides it says it's really smooth, uh, up to 80 kilometers an hour, you don't even feel it, so it's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great train.